Brooklyn Middle School. Can I help you? We'll ask, spell the last name again. Okay. And what do you need to know? He left here, he left his seventh grade year on the 19th of September in 2007. I'm sorry, I've never heard of that. About to be at my old house. Everything new is like all new now. Never used to look like that. I remember um, I came back like probably like two years ago and I drove by and I was like, it looks so much different. That's crazy, man. This is that house that we moved to Virginia Beach in. And this is where like I really started like getting into skating, like riding my bike to the skate park every day. And I, I kind of I grew up faster than I should have. He had to do a lot of stuff that kids his age didn't have to do. Buy your own skateboards. You know, I had a privilege. My mom supported me with skateboarding. I'm sure Trevor's mom, whenever she could, could help him out. But at that time, he was skating every single day that he needed a board regularly, like we all do, board a week sometimes. I mean, he was at this, like our Woodstock Skate Plaza every single day, open to close. He was the first one there, last one to leave. He'd always be at the park just skating, skating, and there was just a point in time where he just started to really learn tricks fast and start to do them every single time. And he'd be entering the contest with everyone else. Everyone just started to take notice and he wound up getting a shop sponsor and people just really gravitated towards him. Yeah, I probably got a board here and there, like a board a month, but it was more of like a, damn, I ride, like I ride for a shop now, like I'm so happy. Not that I might make it, it's just like, damn, he backs my skating, like that's fucking awesome. I never would've thought my name would be on a board, dude. This next skater in was in the top spot at the end of round one and through uh, the better part of round number two. Get loud! Big old Trevor Coleman. First time I came to California was, I think it was 2010, and my grandparents bought me a flight. If you want to do something in skateboarding, you should be in California. Maybe one day I'll go back, but right now, I'm, for what I do, you kind of kind of have to be in California. I really love living in downtown. It's super crazy. I've never in a million years think I would live in downtown LA. It could be raining, fucking tornado, but it's not. It's there's nothing wrong. It's sunny and fucking like 78 degrees. Like it's seriously perfect here. And like it's like right, it's like here, like right here. <laughs> and it's crazy. Hey mom. Hey sweetie. What are you doing? Okay, I'm I'm so good. Oh my god. I think you are so did you get my text? Yeah, I got I just got your text. I'm uh yeah, I just got your text. It's so freaking beautiful, man. I, I can't even, there are no words to describe you. And I mean this with all my heart. Anyway, I never received anything, you know, like a picture text before. Yeah. So I didn't know how to save it. Do you have pictures of you from these different people? Take them. Um, yeah, my, um, me and my friend, he has a bunch of photos I can send you, whatever. What are you doing right now? I don't know what he has, but he has something special about him. He can handle the pressure, go out and film, dedicate to, to one project, and then also at the same time put out stuff other places. Since I'm working on this project right now, it's pretty much the crew that's going out every day. It's myself, Frankie, the homie Timmy, Cody, and Jacob. Sometimes like I'll drive around just to like go check out something, or if something I've seen, I'll go back and check it. But Usually, like, the people that I, I skate with, like, they have so many spots, like, there's, like, no need for me to go try and find a spot. We're here at Looks Out in Cal Some rail that uh, I had looked at when I was little and I'd always wanted to skate it. So I finally unknobbed it a couple years back and uh, haven't really seen too much go down on it, but it's good. Hopefully Trevor gets his trick. It'd be really rad. It's like trying to filter two video parts. Is it stressing me out a little bit? Kind of, but try not to think about it that too much, you know? Well, it, yeah, it is kind of stressful because they both come out a month. One comes out a month before the other. Like, this one comes out a month before the Nike video. Sometimes I think, like, damn, did I take on too much? But I think, I think it's good. I think I can work it out. 
Trevor's got a, a spot in mind and a certain trick. And we've gone two or three Sundays now in a row. Oh, it's going down, boy. It's going down. First tee. So it's not stressing me out, but I'm like, all right, I already told all these dudes I'm going to try it, so I'm going to go try it. Those dudes are smart. They know what the deal is now. They're like, all right, this fool's skating in the back. Someone's going to be trying it in the front. Nah, we only got like one. We only have like one try. And this trick, like, Trevor won't back down from it. If he was going to just put out one trick for his whole video part, it'd be this trick. Yeah, he's running. With the triple set, it's just like, it's you only get like four tries. And it's like an amazing spot. It's perfect. Come down! <laughs> you got it, Trevor, right here. It's a crazy experience having to go back to the spot where security already knows. Hey! They come out even more aggressive. We keep going back, and we're going to hopefully get this trick and walk away without the handcuffs on us. Why can't you just fucking just go and meet over there? There's only so much anger you can hold in on a trick, you know? <laughs> if you're fucking sitting there for an hour trying the same trick, you're bound to fucking throw your board, break it into a million pieces. Fuck. Ah. Fuck. The last thing you want to do is leave that spot knowing that you have to go back. That is the last thing you want to think about. The world, they don't see street parts. They don't see street footage. They only see contests. Going out and skating like street spots and trying to film for a part, it's completely different. Like you're doing stuff that you're not really comfortable with at spots that aren't perfect like a skate park. And it's just a completely different ball game. You film video parts. Cause that's what skateboarding is. Fun. This fool's over here stressing. We'll be back, my dude. Killer cam, killer cam, cam, killer cam, killer cam, killer cam, cam. Throw away homes. Welcome to Harlem. Welcome to problems. 
off a furlough, fella, fellas get partners. Them niggas who be bang, stood out like booty tang. Soon as a stoolie sang, that's when the tootie sang. Bang, bang, came from that movie ring. Snap, crack, jewelry, bling, flapjack, we bring. Clack, clack, coolie ring, bad rap, cutie sling. Ass cap, put them in the river, I'm the sushi king. And I'ma keep it fresh, like the fish eat your flesh. Yes, sir, please confess, just say he's the best. Sing. Try on your birthday. <laughs>